There is coming a day that the Bible says to prepare to meet thy God. And you may say, well, preacher, I don't believe in God. And I say, atheist, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Whether you don't believe in God, you're unsure about God, or you have another God. The Bible says prepare to meet thy God. The Apostle Paul tells us as we preach about Jesus the Apostle Paul tells us that there's another Jesus. There's another spirit. And there's another gospel. And if you have another Jesus, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Well, preacher, you know, I believe in God. James says the devils believe in God and tremble. I bet you don't tremble. Because if you trembled before God, you'd believe in God. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Even if you don't believe in God, prepare to meet thy God. If Mary is your God, the Bible says prepare to meet Thy God, because Mary is not God. Mary's not the mother of God. She's the mother of Jesus. God was never born. Well, preacher, still, I don't believe in God. And the Bible says the fool has said, in his heart that there is no God. I didn't say that. The book of Psalms said that and it's twice written. I don't have the chapter numbers but there's verse 1 twice in the Psalms and I can find it if you want to walk over here. I will find it for you. The Bible calls you in your atheism a fool. I would say stupid. But I'm aggressive. And the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Now why is he thy God if you don't believe in God? Because he's your creator. You didn't come from a big bang. You came from, in the beginning, God created the heavens 
and the earth, no matter what your public school told you. Your public school is wrong. You know, education is not as smart as you think it is. They can teach you that you don't know what sex you are when the Bible says God made them male and female. It's amazing the doctor's office form will say, male, female, uh, you know. That's stupid. If you don't know what sex you are, you're stupid because the Bible says God created them male and female. That's college education. I know, I'm getting college educated right now by a bunch of fools. But... God is our creator. God is our maker. You are a product of a man and a woman, and 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 a man and a woman. Follow that all the way back to Adam and Eve, a man and a woman. It's a lot of men and women. Grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, great-great-great. Go all the way back to Adam and Eve, and God made Adam out of dirt. You think you're so good when God made us out of dirt. He might throw a little spit in there. You do know a couple times that Jesus spit. A little dirt. All right. That'd be interesting. That's in the Bible, by the way. The spit is. Holy spit. And then God breathed into Adam, and Adam became a living soul. And God put Adam to sleep and took one of his ribs and made a woman. You say, preacher, do you believe in that? I believe in that better than evolution because evolution never explains women. Man came from apes. Where did a woman come from? Well, the day that they made the mall, there was the women. No, 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 no. Evolution. Man came from apes, never the women. You're sitting there with an ape with an electric razor trying to shave all his hair off to become the great hairless ape. And then you put him in the White House. That's evolution? Evolution, we have grown up to be, our teenagers are eating Tide Pods. That's evolution? We're taking ice cold water and dumping it on our head. That's evolution. No, that's stupidity. And your educational system is teaching them to be stupid. I'm taking college courses now to, today and they are telling me that a square and a rectangle are the same. That's man. The great eight. But we were created by God and we fell from the grace of God by disobeying God. We are getting worse and worse and worse. We are not getting better. Because when you die without Jesus, you will go into a devil's hell. God created the devil, created hell for the devil and his angels. It was never designed for man. But when man rebelled against God, he sinned. 